Hello guys, and welcome back! We were last left off... Was France always part of the United Provinces? Um... I... Completely missed that. That's almost as strange as Great Britain taking Spain. It's happened! People say the United Provinces get wiped out... Very fast in this game, but no, they've turned it round to become a Central and Western European power. They own France. They, they, France lives off, uh, lives on in Alsace Lorraine. Uh, um. And then there's Spain, being Spain. Have they, they still haven't sent any troops over there. What are they doing here? Nothing. Well, uh... I guess... Oh, th this is an assassin right here! Oh god, where have you been? I guess right there. I need... I need you. Go. Go. We're having a massive problem of Russian gentlemen going over. Anyway, um... Yeah, next turn we'll invade. This place, hopefully take him down, and then... I can actually make an eastward expansion. To counteract the... Uh, western expansion of India. And we'll see how, uh, how that goes. Until then, next turn. So... Instead of being behind the protective walls of your city... You're facing me openly. Good for me, I guess. I'll see you on the battle map. So, really, this battle is the field test for this infantry. And I can see the difference already. Look how professional they are. These men, they're slouching. They're like, oh, uh, do we have to be here? I want to go home. You know, that sort of stuff. But these men, stood to attention. I already like it. But what I don't like is the fact that they have no bayonets, no square formation, no nothing. They... They better have fiber rank. That better be their sa uh, saving grace here, or I'm just gonna get rid of this. They may look tough, but I... I don't know. Elite infantry? Really? We'll see. At least these men are armed. You know, at least they may stand a chance in melee. Unless they... Just break out like some brass knuckles or something and then start beating up the infantry. Very well could happen. Maybe their swords like deploy into swords. Or the guns deploy into... Did I say their swords deploy into swords or... Don't know. I, I forgot my sentence. We'll see how it goes anyway. So they're all coming to the this side to the left. Um, I guess they're just giving me the chance I need to encircle them. Oh, well, the first shot has been fired. So can I just? Yeah, I can just do this. Thanks for letting me do this. Could have been my line, but now I'm just gonna encircle you. And I take it no. Nobody in my army knows fire by rank. Nobody. I made a tech that nobody knows how to use. It's it's too advanced for their puny minds to understand. Wait, so you tell me after we fire, we then duck and reload while somebody else fires? <sighs> Way out of here, man. Don't even talk that. That's like science fiction. Don't, don't even bother. Next you'll be telling me men can fly. No idea. They, uh, they have no bayonets either, so I guess it's equal between my men. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna stop production of them. Like, like right now. I really need modern infantry. I need that now. 
Good defense, sir. Let's watch, let's watch this. Let's watch this man try and defend himself. Good job. Already won. Can he, can he survive another one? Wow, this man's doing great. You will be... Um... Hmm. Huh. Name. I don't know, you're getting lost in the tree. Hmm, I can't actually think of a name for him. Think of a name for him. Somebody, in the comments, think of a name. He will be the... If he survives this, he will be the Ottoman Merc. Merc's already been taken by the Italian states and other such fins. Can't really use that for every single man that kills a horseman. But come up, come up with a name in the comments, please. Yeah, just everybody move in. For all I know, he's dead now, but uh, we'll just say he's not. So we're trying to hold off these men. We did break the horsemen. My entire line... I think I got more line on the flank than I do actually fighting. Um, yeah, I should probably just turn this round. Like so, I literally changed the position of the line. This is now the, s the front. The rest is on the sides. You have let yourselves become so outflanked, I am going behind you. Who is directing this army? You should definitely write a complaint. A stern letter to the kin. You suck. Why does nobody think to point puts a pointy end on the gun? Because we thought of it, and it's really effective. If only used by one uh, type of infantry. Actually, pr it's probably used by the grenadiers as well, but I haven't actually made them. Oh, welcome back, you elite infantry. Why you elite infantry? These men are so much better and so much cheaper. You just look good. You look professional. Are you like models? Are you like the model army? Did I hire a bunch of like people that pretend to be in the army? Like, uh, are they the people for the posters? It's like, join the Ottoman army. Look at these men. The literal peak of human fitness or something. And then everybody just joins the mob. It's like, you could be them too. Join the armed mob now. Maybe. I'm not going to put it past him. It's like, uh, maybe my kin was fooled. I was like, oh god. These men must be elite infantry. Uh, sire, they're just for the posters. What are you talking about? These men? They look great. Hire them. But, sir, uh, they're seriously for the posters. And remember to give them as much money as we can spare. So we're bankrupt. I don't want to hear that tone. Give them over 200 gold. Now! But, sir, I said no! And that was it. We hired a bunch of models to fight the army. No idea where that story came from, but sure, we'll have it in here. It's the official story. We hired models to fight in the army, and I swear to god I'm never buying these people again. Oh, they have swords. Maybe they are the model infantry then. You come equipped in your starter pack of being in the empire with a gun, a sword, and a nice hat with a cape. Yep, pile on. Uh, yeah, I'll come back with the results. See you then. Well, they lost 610 men, and I lost 363 men. And I could just take that right now. I could, and I will.
Oh, you brought some more ships out. Great, I can't wait to totally sink those. Should I? Yeah, I should probably go capture them. I'll see you on the sea probably very quickly. See you then. Venice is being so helpful right now. They must know I can't make these ships, so they're just throwing them at me. Because I am literally just using their ships to give my own... To, well, to fund my own trade fleet. Okay, so you go there. 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 And you go there. And you can just sit back. Okay, all of you, grape shots, we'll speed it up and we'll see. The chaos ensue as all my ships trying to actually get on. And you could just be the party boat. Yep, uh, just enjoy the rocking. You came all the way out to sea to just sit there. And yeah, I'll probably just walk into Dagestan. It'll be so simple to just walk straight in there and then it can go straight to Persia. So is you the one? No. Who's on the first one? It was the sixth rate, right? This one. No. Uh, nope. Nope. You? Yeah, you. Okay, so one of my ships have actually latched on. I'm moving in. Oh, what the hell? What happened? What did I miss? I missed a bomb. There's an ex there was an explosion. Which one was that? That was a brig. That was a brig. The brig was going for the last one, I think. Um, why is my ship so prone to explosions? Why? Why? Do I load... Do I forget to load my ships with gunpowder and instead load them with nitroglycerin? Maybe! I don't know how many ships I've lost to just explosions. Oh well, it at least took the ship down, except I really would have preferred to capture it. At least it was a brig and not... You know, an actual trade ship. Uh, no, an actual ship that I need. But yes, we have destroyed, in some cases actually destroyed the Venetian trade ships. And yeah. More ships for the fleet. See the results. Yep, I lost a ship, they lost a ship. Take them. One ship escaped apparently, I, which one? Didn't I take them all? Never mind, uh, that's that's fine. I think. We'll just bring you back. And the moment of truth, let's walk into Dagestan. I lost 86 men. So yeah, uh, Dagestan's gone. And I own the region. I would have never gone here until, like, Persia was dealt with and the Marathans were dealt with. They really sped up their annihilation there. Where's my assassin? Is he, is he there, uh, there yet? He's close. There's three of them now. And I had the other one coming in. Anything else? Okay, the, I've got mob coming in. Heal the men. Put you in. How much? One and seven. How much does that entail? That should cover the one. Nope, didn't cover any of it. Uh, let's see. I want to see if I can actually just get away right now. Probably not. Um, I'll... Yeah, I'll just move in. Okay, not quite what was planned. Uh, you... Maybe I should have moved in the injured infantry. I want you to make another load of those guys. 
Uh, every time. So four will be coming out, so I should take four of my best men and well out. Uh, you. Actually, you. Favoritism. Oh, they actually by one. Are you kidding me? There we go. Okay. Uh, that's the end of this part, folks, and I'm just going to end the session here. So, thanks for watching, and in the next part we have probably uh, the invasion of Purge to look forward to if I can get the men. And uh, I may actually use these people if for nothing else to just take them all along for the ride. I could just send them back to the capital, you know, the model infantry. And we'll see what we can do about Russia. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later.